Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ. It's Patch Tuesday for like the fifth time. I think May is the fifth month, right? Of the year. And I'll be honest, when the first started rolling in, I thought my system was broken because it said there's 38 total exploits closed. So I spent far more time than I'm happy to admit just assuming that my process was broken. When it turns out, yeah, 38 was it. Uh, we're normally we've been hitting around 100, 38's a fine number. Now of the 38, six of those are critical and you have two that are already exploited out in the wild. Uh, out of the critical, there's two that are 9.8, and those are usually means they're network accessible, no user interaction, uh, no privileges required. The, all, all the really bad ones, but to not be a full 10, there's usually some sort of mitigating factor, and we'll kind of jump into those ones. Uh, the first one is CVE 2023-24941. That one is a remote code execute exploit for the network file system, NFS, but it is only for NFS uh, 4. So that's not on by default, which is why it's probably a little bit lower at the 9.8, although 9.8 is not low, it's still bad. But if you're not using NFS 4, you're fine. If you are using 2 or 3, hopefully you patched the critical exploit for those ones uh, about a year ago. Uh, if you are using 4, uh, they do give you some PowerShell, the set-NFS configuration, dash enable NS4 to false, and then restart the service, that will take that down. That will work. The issue is changing the NFS from four to three. There could be all kinds of issues with your environment that we just, you can't know. There's a lot of risk with that one. So I'd recommend if you are using NFS4, just patch as soon as possible. If it's something you have process you can't get around, patching is within a certain system. You might want to look at then lowering it because this is a bad one. Just know that there are some risks associated with that one. Uh, the next one is the other 9.8. It is for the Pragmatic General Multicast. I'll be honest, I didn't even know this was a thing. And reading through the actual exploit on this one, uh, the recommendation is use newer technologies. So I just learned about something and it's already out of date. That's, uh, that's IT for you. But it has all the same markers as the NFS one. Network accessible, no privileges required, no user interaction. It, the, the risk is there. So if you are using PGM, that is one you absolutely want to patch as soon as possible. But it sounds like maybe that one's not so widely implemented, so you're probably safe. But just check and make sure that that's one that you need to have covered. Uh, the last one we're covering is this 2023-29336. This one is only 7.8, but this is one that is actively exploited. So on this one, uh, it does have a local attack vector, and it does require minimal privileges or low privileges which is why it's listed down to 7.8. Now, if someone does have access to a local attack vector, they can use this exploit uh, using the Win32K to get system access. And once you have system access, they can do all kinds of other things to kind of expand out from there. So this one rated lower, but if someone ha is in your network and has bad intent, that is one that you definitely want to get patched. I mean, if they're in your network, other problems anyway, but that's definitely one to look at. And that's pretty much it for this month. I'm not used to seeing such a low number. This is kind of a, a fun month for me. Uh, six is a low critical, I guess, based on the 38 percentage-wise, it's high. But overall, this one is about as tame as we've seen in the couple of years I've been doing this. Uh, if you're using NFS4 or you're using PGM, this is definitely a different hit landing differently for you than others. But for everyone else, stick to your patching schedule. You should be good. That's it for May Patch Tuesday. I'll see you next month. I'm Jordan for PDQ.